This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff and light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? 
Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! You need to shut down. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can... Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. Uh, yes, I am, Andrew. Is that supposed to make me feel better? <clears throat> see you then. It's just kind of loud over the game. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. The game gets kind of loud at peaks and points, uh, and there's no way to really turn it down, so <laughs> the commentating gets a little overwhelming whenever 
whenever you're uh, doing it over the game. Doing? I, saw you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wire. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Mm. And adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, it's time to stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's me mine. Can. Give me the can. can. Stop it. I need it. Grow up! Fuck. Oh, God, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back. Oh, Christ. Yeah, the, the music really is good. It's it reminds me a lot of Journey. Uh, if you've ever seen that game, the music in that game is amazing. I just wish there was a way to kind of adjust the volume overall, <laughs> because I cannot turn my headset up, and uh, it blows out my eardrums if I get it up anywhere near how I normally have it. <laughs> <laughs> they really are like, hey, yeah, you cannot turn this down. You will appreciate it. You'll turn it up to 11 and your ears will bleed. all the roads and you can't get through and and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches and then they started bleeding and... but it was horrible they were so scared so Neil turned the car around and um we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have but we just came in to clean up the kids and and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and it's all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. 
They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed and never thought Barbara wouldn't mind their only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. I never came back down. Must be too frightened to go look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Yes. Yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Please help me. Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? Everything right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen!
playground. I feel like there's got to be a thing down at the playground, right? Like, Benjamin, Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. Hello, Amanda. What are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather they'll be closing the roads and stations. So they're worried enough at all. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, no, it's about the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I'll have a word with me. I'll see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone. Right. The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. There are voices on the line. It's 4 a.m. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. Boomerang. kind of looks like a face with the paint on it. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in a position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert, but I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? Well, well, well. 
Seems like Steven is a cheating bastard, huh? Bad money. Kate got angry. Caused whatever happened to happen. Up goes Steve. Visual and auditory distortions are becoming more frequent, along with mild convulsions to the left side, all of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension, occurring as a result of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumor, originating, I believe, within the hypothalamus. Cognitive functions are currently unimpaired. Uh, aside from this crippling headache, hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent with the nasal passages primarily. I believe I am dying. This is certainly not flu or anything else I have ever encountered. And certainly, a tumor cannot expand this rapidly. In the blood clots, I see tiny flecks of what looks almost like, if I had to try and find a description, liquid light. I cannot explain this phenomenon. Wait, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gables just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient... from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He 
He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. And Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Meg, come and have a look at this. Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie! Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's that? Oh, it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard! Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Are you there? Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all? still here then 
I should have expected that. Come on, then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them, have you set a tabernacle for the sun? Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. really is a very pretty game.
You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. My Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Bowden has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere, no doubt. I thought I'd best check and see you're all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu as such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Gate. I thought we were gonna play this. All right. here for a moment. Seems like the stream is not getting enough frames put into it. I'm going to pause, reset some stuff. I'm actually going to get a drink. Should have got a drink before I sat down. And we will restart in a second. Let go. 